Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Listen, I haven't had time to like make myself look presentable. So you guys are gonna get, look, this is supposed to be real life vlog. This is what I look like, okay? This is the hair today. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be a vlog that is, um, it's some footage that has been taken throughout this week. So uh, this is just a little bit of like a week in my life behind the scenes. Um, I'm still getting used to like filming stuff like this. This is new to me. So, um, but I, I really had fun like documenting, you know, just the different like small processes, even just like, you know, printing art prints and just the different stuff that I'm working on. And um, so I hope you guys will enjoy it. Um, be sure to subscribe if you have not. And um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some narration over some of the clips and then some of the other ones I'm just gonna kind of let play. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks for being here. All right, you know, judge me all you want for the dirty mat. It just, it is what it is. I clean it almost every day and it just always gets dirt. It's fuzz and, you know, it's sticky. I mean, that's what happens. Anyway, so here's a less than satisfying sticker peel. <laughs> and here I am laminating some stickers. I actually found this tip on TikTok. Um, I don't actually put them in a laminating pouch. I have a one-sided you know, self-adhesive laminate that goes on top. And then you just fold a sheet of regular paper, put them inside, and then, you know, you get the heat evenly distributed. It just kind of helps really seal in, um, you know, that laminate. Make sure the edges are sealed. After cutting, we are printing some large uh, art prints here, eight and a half by 11. I am preparing for my in-person market on July 15th. It is in Philly. It's called the Punk Rock Flea Market. I am super, super nervous. I've never done anything like this. Um, I've done an in-person sale once, and that was just like sharing a table with a friend. I didn't take it super seriously, but I did make some sales. So I have made in-person sales before. Uh, but this would be my first time being by myself with my own booth that I paid for and I'm really nervous, but if you guys live in the Philadelphia area, let me know, because I would love to meet some of you. Um, but yeah, I've been trying to prep for that, and it's been, uh, you know, I'm, I'm prepping for that, but I'm also fulfilling orders, and I've just been kind of working nonstop, and I probably will continue to until the market is over. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about it. So this was something I actually didn't plan on, but I had this glitter cardstock. I've had it for quite a while. I didn't think I had any left. And I was going through my stash of cardstock and sticker paper and everything. And I had two sheets left. And I was trying to decide what I wanted to make. So I'm essentially using these as sort of business cards uh, for the market. At least just, you know, I'm not going to be able to make a whole lot because I only have... <laughs> A limited amount of this, of this cardstock unless I can find some more. I, I believe I got it at Walmart, so I'm gonna have to check. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm kind of just using these as like business cards. Uh, I've got the, you know, the nice glitter cardstock. And then on the back, I used my label printer to, uh, and you'll see that here in a minute, um, to just make some little stickers that has my bat logo. And then uh, it says, thank you for shopping small. And it has a QR code that goes to my website. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just try to hand these out. I won't be charging for them. Uh, I haven't had a chance to order actual business cards because I'm too indecisive about what I actually want on them. So I figure 
if I just make my own, I can change them. It obviously is going to take me more time and, you know, all that. But um, I'm also going to uh, print a larger, you know, QR code and have it displayed um, at my booth so that people can just scan it if they don't want to take an actual physical card because I'm kind of torn on, on business cards in general. Like, I know overall they're beneficial because, you know, if you just grab a stack of business cards when you're out at an event and you come home and you kind of go through them, but I just find myself, like, putting them in with my recycling a lot because I'm like, what am I going to do with this at the end of the day? So that's why I kind of wanted this to be something cute that, you know, the front is just like a print and it's something you can keep and put, like, in your planner pocket or you know, wherever you want. And then on the back, it's got the actual QR code. So I'm, I'm trying, uh, but I'm rounding the corners here, my little, my handy dandy corner rounder that I've basically worn out the four millimeter side. I'm like, it's usable, but it's just not as sharp as it was. Um, and I'm using the seven millimeter side or the point point seven. What the hell is it? Uh, no seven. <laughs> so I'm, uh, I really like the, the effect of just rounded corners in there. I kind of messed up and panicked, but scissors kind of saved the day. We made it work. Um, but yeah, I've, I have some different sizes just because that was what I could fit on the sheet to cut. Because I did, um, you know, I, I'd used the, the cardstock is 8.5 by 11. So I'm just trying to fill up the entire sheet when I print. So some of them are smaller and some are a little bigger. Um... But yeah, really excited about these. Okay, yeah, I lied. Actually, <laughs> the label that I put on, as you see here, is a different label than the one I described. The one I described that says, thank you for shopping small, I used, um, basically I had some leftover cardstock and I'm going to show you guys in a separate video, like how I, I really try not to waste any materials. So I cut my own cards that go in with my orders and they're four by six. And so I end up with just like excess cardstock from where I've trimmed off. And so I use those to make backing cards for my pins and my magnets. And I use the labels that say, thank you for shopping small. But for these business cards with the glitter card stock, I used, there's a QR code that goes to my website and then a separate one that goes to my link tree that has all my social media and all that stuff. So just wanted to clarify. And here I'm actually working on some stuff for Patreon. Um, if you don't know, I have a sticker club over on Patreon where you can get stickers in the mail automatically without having to think about it every month um, and it's something I really really enjoy doing I've been doing it for a couple of years now actually which is hard to believe um, about a year and a half I guess and I I just love first of all it challenges me to make new stuff every month you know I can't really go a month without making something new and I really love that I'm able to know actually send stuff to people who support me financially you know they pay they pay money to support me you know it's nine dollars per month for the uh, sticker club and then um, you get a sticker sheet and a waterproof die cut sticker every month and when you join as a new patron I always throw in a bunch of freebies for you so like you're gonna get a bunch of good stuff and uh, I also give you know, digitals, um, so that you can print stuff at home. I give like phone backgrounds behind the scenes. We have polls, uh, exclusive episodes of my podcast, keeping myself alive. So there's a lot of good, um, good benefits there that, uh, I hope you guys will consider checking out. Mm -hmm.